Good day, YouTube. Um, I wanted to make a short video on how to kind of set the different um, aspects and map and logging of Tefra V3 for FlexFuel for the Evo X. I did receive some questions about them and I want to make a short video. Maybe it'll help someone. So we start by looking at the information that we have available to us. So you just go to Google and type in um, Tefra V3 and it should take you to his website directly. This is really, really good. Read this, save it, do whatever you got to do, but read this very carefully um, and, you know, go from here. You have a better understanding of what's going on afterwards. So I'm going to skip also, you can buy it from here too directly. If you're not buying from here, you could also buy it from um, EvoScan website um, from Hamish directly. Either way, so make sure you have your wiring of the, the FlexFuel sensor and everything um, according to this uh, uh, tutorial. Um, what we want to do is um, go to some of the um, tables that you're actually going to be dealing with. Um, so here, this is explained pretty well. Um, it's not that difficult. You just have to remember what Tefra is saying about how to use it. Um, so so you, you won't make a mistake and you'll have issues later on. So we'll just stop here for one second and I wanna show you what a regular Tefra V3 looks like. So this is what your V3 should be looking like. Um, and you know, this is everybody who has bought one has seen this, um, has a lot of alternate maps and you know, all this other stuff. There are some modifications that you do need to make to this in order for you to actually use FlexField. The first thing you want to do, however, is set this up correctly. Um, in order for you to do that is you want to go to um, Master Map Setting and you want to set it to FlexField. So here's the thing. I personally never turn this on, never, until I'm ready to do FlexField. So I actually leave it off. Um, so you want to turn it off, you want to tune your 93 first, then you want to use alternate maps and you want to tune your E85 first, uh, which is on these things, these alternate map, map number one. Um, then you want to go back here and turn it on to flex fuel. Um, the second table you want to do is um, how it's getting the input uh, from flex fuel, uh, which is here. Usually it's the pressure sensor, right? So um, that's where you want to go at. Now leave everything else alone because I want to show you how you need to use his website and all the coding to better um, give your, actually you see you a better chance of uh, scaling your injectors as it's uh, doing the calculations for different fuel sections. So according to Tefra, the actual scalability of your ECU for injectors isn't that much, as it says right here. So these coding, these coding, extra, um, I would say, uh, scaling uh, addresses, and he basically moved where the ECU looks for um, the scaling for your injectors in a different section of the ECU. So you got to find your... Um, your, your uh, ID, your ROM ID, and match the thing up with this. So in this case, we're just going to use this one. You copy this, okay, Control-C. You go to, uh, where do we go to? Okay, let's just go here. Um, C drive. Program files, uh, open ECU, ECU flash, ROM metadata, Mitsubishi, Evo. You find your ROM in here. Uh, what is ours? It's 5 9. Five, nine, five, eight. All right, just just say it's this one. Actually, it's this one. Okay, you want to copy this. And my computer doesn't let me edit it in this folder, so you want to paste it somewhere else. 
open with WordPad. Go all the way on the bottom. That's where I put it. You'll see that this is signaling the ROM is ending. You want to put it right here. Go back to Tefra, copy this. I've already done it, so I don't want to do it on this one. So you paste it like that. Okay. You also want to go copy another thing, which is corresponding to the same address, this table, this, I'm sorry, this uh, table. And you want to do the same thing. Okay. You want to put it here. I'm not going to save mine because I've already done it. So I don't need to do that. Um, once you save it, put it back. Okay. Um, and then you load up your uh, EC flash one more time and you load your map and you'll see so this is the version without those coding and as you can see right here this, this is what it looks like and this is the version with those coding what you do have here is these tables that weren't there before also since you're hijacking a signal uh, from the evap system um, this will this particular one will fix your check engine light so turn this to 7969 um, and it, you won't get the code anymore so what you need to do to these tables is nothing don't touch them just um, this cell fix that's all you do and you start tuning um, once you have tuned your E85 and your 93, um, you, I'm sorry, uh, you go back here and then you start messing with these tables and adjust it. So the first thing you need to do is the voltage. Make sure the whatever gauge you're using, I'm sorry, the sensor you're using, um, the voltage, uh, it reads... Uh, matches the same as uh, what it says here and adjust it as you need it. Now, logging is another issue. He also, thank God, um, put all the particulars for logging as well. So these are the raw values. I'm sorry, the uh, addresses. What you need to do is add these numbers to this number. For your log, I log address. I'll show you what that means. So you go to ECU flash. I'm sorry, Evo scan. You open up the edit mode, uh, so you can add another table to it. And you choose a new um, item, and say you take ethanol raw. Right. This is the actual voltage that your ECU is reading from uh, the ethanol content sensor. So um, his website says for this value, you have to add 805075 to So what that basically looks like is C238050, 238050, and um, 805075 so I've added that so um, you follow the rest which is um, for voltages it's this equation you put that under eval and the units is V capital V and the metric eval evaluation is the same thing uh, and then basically you save. So what I'm logging, uh, raw ethanol uh, voltage, a copy of that in a different location, um, uh, ethanol average voltage. So your, your ECU is actually using the average voltage over a certain period of time. It's not taking a raw data and 
and you know correcting your your uh, scaling um, and your flex field tables all the time. It takes an average over a certain period of time. So you're actually reading what it is reading on an average and then ethanol percentage on an average. So you're reading what your ECU is reading and all you have to do is just match the voltage up with this percentage and if you have a gauge, that's even better. So your gauge should be reading this, whatever your ECU, I'm sorry, EvoScan is reading. Um, so if it's not, you adjust it accordingly. And that's basically it. Um, the rest, I will make another video um, as I'm tuning a flex fuel. So we, we have a better understanding of what exactly it takes to tune a flex fuel. Thank you.